What's up everyone, Justice Good here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom brush tool in Photoshop. Seeing as it's Halloween, I'm going to create a spider web. So the first thing you want to do is open a new image, and I made it 500 by 500. Grab your custom shape tool, and on a new transparent layer, we're going to grab the polygon tool. Make sure you have star checked, indent sides at about 30%, and smooth indents. As for the sides, we're going to use 12 sides. So now if we click, hold shift and alt, and drag out, it will create a proportionate shape starting from the center and expanding out. So I'm going to make it pretty big and there you go. Now we're going to right click and go to blending options of this shape because all we want is an outline like a spider web. So right here lower the fill opacity to zero and select stroke and create a two pixel stroke of black. Now we're going to duplicate this layer with command J on a Mac or you can right click and duplicate. Command T to transform, hold shift and alt to constrain proportions and drag it inwards. You want like not too much of a gap in between each one. Again, duplicate, command T, shift, alt and drag. Repeat that step until you get down to about that size. You're going to have about five layers, five or six layers. Now on a new layer, you're going to grab your line tool on a one weight, weight, one pixel. And for the style, make sure you reset it. So click this little arrow right here, reset styles, and select this one right here with the line going through it. Now with your color on black, grab one corner, hold shift, and drag all the way down to the other corner, and let go. And if you need to adjust this so it's perfectly aligned, grab your move tool, and with your arrow keys on your keyboard, just tap one pixel at a time, up or right or down. Now select that line that we just made, command J to duplicate, and command T to transform, Hold shift and drag the corners over until you get two clicks of shifting and do that all the way around. So to recap, command J, command T, rotate it while holding shift and push enter. Now click on your top layer, hold shift and click on your bottom layer. That selects all the layers at once. Right click on it click rasterize layers and merge layers now that we have the web on one layer you want to hide all other layers and go to edit define brush preset we're going to name ours spider web and there you have your brush preset that you can use on any new document it will be under your brush preset panel so go to brushes find it it will be the last brush in your current set and you can use it however you like. If you go to window brush, you can adjust the spacing and shape dynamics however you like to create a nice scatter spider web brush. And if you use your imagination, you could do this with snowflakes, etc. But that's a different tutorial. If you like how your brush turned out and you want to save it so that it doesn't get reset when you go to reset brushes, go to save brushes name it something such as my brushes and it will always be there for you you can reset your brushes as you can see they're gone but if you load brushes you will see the set that you saved and that's it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial 
If you did, don't forget to check out my channel and subscribe for more tutorials. And enjoy using your new brushes. Thank you.